hello hello everybody welcome to this uh, Inkscape tutorial in this Inkscape tutorial I will show you how to remove the background of an image um, I want to invite you to um, subscribe to the channel and click on the notification bell so that you will be notified every time I upload a video a new video okay so let me the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to change the background of my of my document. I'll go to File, Document Properties, and I'll go to Background down here, and I'll check this checkerboard background. And I'll exit out. Okay, now you see the two different images that I have. This is the original, and this is the copy, the one that I removed the background from. And I did it right here in Inkscape, and I'm going to show you today how to do it too. Um, this method is more for uh, images that have a one color background. If I see, if I can see that, if this was um, um, yellow, green, you know, a color that that uh, is not really in this uh, image, that uh, that would work. That would work to remove the background okay i'll show you how i do it it's fairly easy um first thing I, let me remove this to the side first thing i'm going to do i'm going to trace this i'll select it i'll go to path trace bitmap and um i'll in trace bitmap i'll choose multiple scans and in multiple scans i'll choose um colors right here okay and you see our image has more than five colors it has a bunch of colors let's choose like uh, let's or oh, increase it to like 10 11 in this case so that all the all the outlines all the lines can be connected the more um, stacks the more um, layers the better okay and here we will have 11 layers and I will update it right here and then I'll click OK. X this out. Okay, now we have all this here. I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to ungroup it. It's ungrouped. Keep it, keep them selected. Go to pad and we click union. You see we have that now. Okay. And you can make it a darker color so that you can see it better. Okay, I, I, I'm going to copy this this black one right here. I'm, I'll duplicate it and I'll put it to the side. Because, you know why I did this? Because there's a, a tiny white spot um, here on the original one that we also need to remove. We will remove the surrounding white um, part. And also the tiny white part here so I have to duplicate it and I'll show you what I'm going to do the this one I select it again and I'll break it apart I'll go to pad and break it apart you see we have all this in keep it selected like that and go to pad union okay united everything um, like I told you we, we need this small spot right here we need it so i'm going to zoom in i'm going to zoom in and i'll take my i'll take my paint bucket and then i'll go here and i'll fill it in and i'll make it another color so that i can see it right okay I'll fill it in i think the closer you go the better the outcome I'm going to zoom in okay now go to my paint bucket and go here and fill it okay I, I zoom out and then I'll delete this one okay let's go back Okay, now I will click on the uh, 
from the original and I'll bring it to the front bring it to the front yes to the front and I will have this I will move this to here let's go in okay this is my hand okay now I'll send this to the back and then lower it to the bottom this is on top of this so I'm going to cut this tiny part out of the brown part you see that I will select both and I'll go to pad and I'll do difference now our um copy like this part this vector part it has an opening here too so our image down there the original original will have the open space down there too because um when we when we clip it everywhere there is uh um, that doesn't have uh how can i say it? everywhere that is empty will stay empty and the places that are um that have a piece of um, um a vector up on top of it will be saved so i'll select both and this is the last thing we do select both the right click and set clip you see we remove the background and you see it on on both sides let, let me um place something on the background and you will see you will see that everything is removed so i'll send this to the back send it to the back like this and now you see our work here you see we remove the background this part is also removed and everything so this is something that you can do really quick and this is this this system this method is only it's only uh, doable with images with a white background or a one color background like I said maybe not black because bl this is also black you know you, it will be um, difficult to trace but a, a background a contrasting background background that um, that is not uh, in the image it will be uh, very easy to do that to, to remove the background from images like that okay um if you have any questions please let me know and um if you haven't um understood what i have done like if you watch it once and you don't understand it please go back and rewatch it and you will see that you will understand it you will um, be able to do it too because it's really not that difficult and i know you guys are inscape people you guys are smart people so you will be able to get it and now i have it here one th more thing i want to say when you save your uh, design, when you want to save it, you I'm I'm working right now in Inkscape 1.2, I think. 1.2. You are not able to save it as a PNG. It's not the 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 possibility is not here. Let's see. It's not here. You can save it as a PNG. So you have to export it. If you save it as a PNG, SVG, you, everything will come back. But if you export it, it will stay the same. Uh, I'm going to export this one. I will lock it. And then I will make it smaller. I'll place it here. And I want to do it with a transparent background. So I'm good. I will go to File, Export PNG. So only what is here will be exported. Okay, we have it here, export area. You see when I went to file, export, this is this is a shortcut. And when you click on here, this one will open right here. And you go to page because you want to save everything is on the page. And I'll save it on a D, 300 DPI um, resolution. And then I'll go, I'll, I'll change the name here. Let's say Mini. Mini. And I'll export it. 
and I'll export it to my downloads. Export to my downloads. And then I'll export it one more time. And now it will be exported and saved in there. And now we will go and see right here. And here it is. You see it here right here with the transparent background. Right here. Okay, that's that is how I did it. And I hope you try it. And let me know if you have any more questions. Uh, please subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell to be notified every time I upload a new video. And um, thank you so much for watching and have a great day.